So what's the upshot of all that? Well, we've shown how economists represent preferences and we now can bring in people's uh, relative value for things like food and shelter. So returning to our story of these colonists, the supercomputer using uh, knowledge of the production technologies knows how to efficiently allocate its inputs to, to build as much shelter and food as possible. And now it needs to integrate the preferences of these colonists over food and shelter to figure out which point on that menu of options is the one that they're going to most prefer. And figuring out how to do that optimally is what we're going to do in our next unit.